The destination is unknown. The conductor is a liar. The fireman is a fiend, and he keeps stoking up the fire. The temperature is rising, and the pressure's getting higher. They're lunatics, all, every man on the crew. The engineer is laughing. Clearly, he's insane. The brakeman sits and smiles, but he won't pull the chain. This might be a runaway, but they don't want to stop the train. You're tired and confused, and you don't know what to do. They're crazy, one and all, but they say that you're the fool. Pray tell me, sir, whose fool are you? You just keep on rolling with that endless clickety-clack, and you ride that rumbling train on down that rusty, rickety track. There's no way to stop this thing, and you know you can't turn back, though you'd ditch if you could. You just hope you'll pull through. But the rumbling never stops, and you hang on day by day. You try to catch a breath. You just hope, and then you pray. Your shirt is torn. You've got holes in your shoes, and the hobos in the boxcar laugh, and they say, you're the fool. <laughs> Pray tell me, sir, whose fool are you? You're linked by steel and copper to the next car on the train. You can feel your tendons tearing. You can hardly stand the strain. And you wish that you could take a pill just to help you ease the pain. The lunatics surround you. They're like monkeys in a cage. And they try to ape the wisdom written on the missing page of some dusty, ancient, holy book written by a missing sage. And they clamor to the flat car. And they shriek in fits of rage. But you finally make the station. And the train is slowing down. To your dismay, you notice the station master is a clown. <laughs> and you hope to find one sane man in this whole crazy town. Oh, pray tell me, sir, whose fool are you? Moving on with the clowns and the crazy clowns here. The clown is out of the closet. The bats are at roost in your belfry as your little train chugs round the bend and you keep on trying to tell me that you have this invisible friend who will be coming tonight just to see you and he'll be checking you out of the ward. <laughs> oh, the crazy, crazy train is a-coming. Come on, let's all hop aboard. The clown has jumped out of your closet. He's mad as a hatter for sure. He only has one oar in the water, but you're certain that his heart is pure. He's not some nattering nabob, though some say that he's surely nuts. And you say he's clearly the clown for the job because this clown, he has some guts. But I won't go away with the fairies or follow you out on a dare, for I find your clown kind of scary, his clown hands and his orange hair. And don't even try to invite me on a ride with your invisible friend, because one plus one does not equal three, and I won't ride your train round the bend. Nice. One more. It's hard to remember. That's the title. It's hard to make progress when you're holding back the clock, rewriting the history of a nation. Hard to see blue skies when you're looking for old glory and fireworks in the night. It's hard to be optimistic when all you see are when you see in the streets are drag queens, drug dealers, dope addicts, hookers, and queers. Hard to remember the wholesome, halcyon days when black people labored in the sunshine and fresh air. Each of them counted as three-fifths of a person represented in Congress, though they didn't vote. It's hard to be faithful to traditions of marriage that include multiple wives and concubines. Hard to remember that abortion was not illegal until the late 1800s. Hard to remember our Christian heritage, the Puritan witch hunts, 
Anglicans flogging Baptists for singing in church. Hard to remember a time when news traveled slowly and insanity spread by word of mouth in a gradual ooze. <laughs> Am I crazy to see shades of an uglier past? When a presidential contender brags about the size of his penis and sets his goons upon black people in the crowd? Surely I'm not the only inmate in the asylum who can see a white hood or a little mustache in this Rorschach blot. Wow.